Eyewitness News at 9 on KSCW. President Biden made a stop in Kansas City today to promote the trillion dollar infrastructure plan. And more than a month after now signing a bill into law, Caroline Elliott's breaking down just how much funding Kansas will see out of this and how the state plans to use that money. Kansas will receive almost $4 billion from President Biden's infrastructure bill to improve roads, highways, and bridges across Kansas. I just really appreciate um, the president coming to the Midwest and seeing uh, the needs that we have here on in all the different modes and on the highways as well. Uh, we look forward to putting those dollars to good use in the state. Here's how the state will use the $3.84 billion in funding. $2.6 billion will go towards highway repairs. $444 billion will go towards water infrastructure. $100 billion will help increase broadband access. And $40 billion will provide charging stations for electric cars. We're going to prioritize those funds to really um, help solve the problems that we see now. and. We've got three primary goals for which we want to spend those dollars, really to focus on saving lives and reducing fatalities and serious injuries on our roadways, um, but then also reducing transportation costs for people and the movement of goods. In Wichita, city council members in the past implied the funding could be used to pave unpaved roads in South Wichita. Wichita is grappling with how they can get you know more paved roads or, or reduce the number of unpaved roads. Um, part of this bill will also be uh, sharing the revenue with local entities. So as they're looking at their system, um, if that's a choice that they want to make with some of these dollars, that is an option as well. We'll be meeting with cities and stakeholders across the state over the next week to talk about how to spend this money. Jacob. Caroline, thank you. Community organizers here in Wichita wanted to send a message to President Biden while he was visiting the Midwest. Sunflower Community Action held a community candlelight vigil at Keeper of the Plains earlier this evening. Organizers say they want Congress to include immigration reform in the president's Build Back Better plan. We have been waiting for too long. Um, there is 11 million immigrants who uh, for the last 35 years have been waiting to step out of the shadows. And today that's the message that we're sending. Right now, the Senate parliamentarian is deciding whether the chamber's rules allow for immigration reforms in that proposed bill. We continue our warming trend Thursday with Wichita seeing a chance for a record high temperature. Chief Meteorologist Ross Jansen joins us with a look at that. Hey, Ross. And Jacob, every single time it has turned chilly this month of December, it has warmed right back up, and that is the direction that we're heading tomorrow. Started to feel that milder weather today and tomorrow. We are back into the 60s. Wichita is really the only location where we're probably going to threaten that record as we move into the afternoon. We only have to get to 67. Our forecast of 66 will at least put us in record territory. Russell tomorrow at 60 degrees is going to come up well shy of that record of 72. So don't expect a whole bunch of record setting numbers tomorrow in Kansas, but it will obviously be warmer than what most of us would expect at this time of the year. 59 in Tribune, 60 degree weather expected in Jetmore, Harper tomorrow in South Central Kansas looking at upper 60s. Just incredible stuff when you think about time of year and how warm we continue to be. We start out at 38 degrees tomorrow morning. The sunshine gets us back to 62 for the lunch hour, 63 degrees by 3 p.m. And then after tomorrow, we track a storm through Kansas, which should bring a chance for at least a little bit of snow back to northwest Kansas. And I'm going to have so much more to say about the storm coming through on Friday, what kind of wind we're going to have with it, how much colder things are going to be turning, and the rest of your forecast still to come. Ross, thank you. The Seward County District Attorney is considering charging two men accused of trafficking and raping a teenage girl. On Tuesday, the Liberal Police Department found a 13 year old who was reported as a runaway from Texas. Police learned she was approached by two men from Liberal who convinced them to uh, convinced her to come with them. She says one of the men raped her and told her he was going to prostitute her. Police are still investigating. 